Hey Dress Your Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Fancy Nancy. So get your Sharpie or your pencil ready and your piece of paper and let's get started. To draw cute Nancy, let's first start by drawing her face. So I'm going to come right here and draw the bottom of a U. Come around. Other side, say about right here. Draw a curve and I'm going to try to make it a little bit sharper towards the chin area. So about right here and then go up the center and then up. Oops. Now this side's a little wobbly. <laughs> there. So I'm just trying to make it a little bit more angular. Then from there I'm going to come back to where I started. A little bit more space. And I'm going to draw a circle for her eyes right on the edge. And same thing on the other side, about right here. So now that my circle's in, let's make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights. And a curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom and same thing over here. And how to have the eyes in, let's come to the sides right here. I'm just going to give her two, sim two simple lashes, just two curves. And same thing here. And then let's see here. Let's come above her eye and say about right here. I'm going to go ahead and draw her brow and slant it a little bit downwards. And same thing on the other side about right here. And then let's give her a big sweet smile. So right here in the center, go ahead and draw a big curve and cap it off there and i'll come in here real quick and fix my boo-boo so it's not so distracting there a little bit better right <laughs> it's still it's still too angled but a little bit better Okay, so then now that we have that, let's come back to the sides where her eyes are and we're going to draw her ears. So let's pop in a curve right here. And I'll come in here with two curves for some details. And same thing over here. Two curves. And then now we're going to draw her hair, which is, uh, like I said, a little bit uh, complicated, but we'll try our best, right? So um, let's come to the center. So just imagining an oval. So I'll say about right here, right in the center. I'll just give myself a point. From there, I'm going to be drawing these strands. So let's just curl, curl it around. And we're just going to go up right here and just curl back and forth these strands above her eyes. And then one here, however you like. And just curl it back and forth to come back down. So same thing on this side. Okay, sometimes it's lower, going up, curl, curl, <laughs> and let's see here, one more. And since I have some space right here, I'll just go ahead and finish it. So now that we are um, nicely framed her face, I'm going to come above this um, curve right here. So. Say about right here, right above. I'm going to give myself a point. Find the other side, about right here. And I'm going to draw a curve right over and back. So this is going to be starting of her tiara. But I just want to make sure it's at the same level as her face. Then from there, I'm going to go ahead and I'll just draw the center one first. And I'm just going to draw a bunch of circles and go all the way down. And 
And same thing here. And one more. And now that I have that, and we need to draw her um, the more details on the top. So once again, find your center and say about right here, nice and high. I'm gonna give myself another circle. We're gonna start to draw the flowers. So we're just gonna go ahead and really quickly draw these petals right here. Imagine another one about right here at a curve. So this one's gonna be at an angle. So definitely turn your paper if you need to. And so another one about right here. And same thing. There. I know it's very complicated, right? So many details, but she is fancy Nancy. So right here, I'm gonna add two lines to connect the flowers to the tiara right here. So in the original, they're actually circles as well, but we're just going to simplify and just make the lines there. Okay, so then now we can finally draw the rest of her hair. I'm going to come to where her ears are, by right here and here. And we're going to do the same thing we did this side, where we're going to come up and start to curl back and forth. And we just want to make the shape above, kind of round the shape and this the center being the highest. So just keep that in mind, however you draw your curls. So I'm coming up, I'm getting to the center. Oh, let's see here. Ooh. <laughs> and then we're gonna come down. Trying to maintain that shape and down. So right here, curl, and one more. There. From there, let's draw some more strands down here under her ear. Just some curves. And same thing on this side. There. Okay, so then now we can finally draw her outfit. So let's come to the center. We're gonna give her a neck, a little neck right here, and draw a curve out. And a curve out. And I'm not gonna draw her shoulders yet because they're kind of poofy. So um, let's come back here first, and I'm going to give her a neckline right there. And we're gonna draw her pearl earrings. I mean, her pearl necklace. So I'll add a circle right there, and I'm just going to create this chain of circles. And around one more. There. And then let's see, let's find her armpit area. So say about right here and here. Go ahead and draw two angle lines. And I'll come right here and connect this right here with a curve. Just like the other side. And bring this down a little bit more. And this side's going to come down a little bit lower because I need to draw a bow right here. So just imagine this, there's a band right here. So I'll come to a save bar right here, give myself a bow. So I'll draw a little oval. Draw two loops. There. And continue. So imagine this. Draw this band right here. And connect. And then the ends. The tail of our bow. So let's come right here. Just tuck in this tail. Two tails and then her skirt. So let's pop this out, about right there. So imagine the same thing, about right here. And then we're gonna, now that we're about the same level, we're gonna go ahead and just wobble away across with these deep curves 
all the way across there so it's uh, much lower towards the center and goes back up then from there where that's uh, before I forget I'm just gonna come in here and follow my wobble to draw this stripe that goes across and some details if you like there and then now let's draw her legs so imagining her hip area right here and here just giving myself some points and from there I'm going to go ahead and draw angle line that comes down getting a little bit thinner as we come down and then work on this leg first about right there I'll stop and connect so same thing over here and connect and then she has these frilly socks so I'm gonna come out and pop out these socks right here and then her shoes so a curve and connect so same thing over here Then from there, let's um, add some details on the shoes right here and draw a curve and then a band right here at the top and same thing here. And she's wearing these leggings, so about right here, I'm going to cut them off right here with a curve. And when you're coloring, you can make the, uh, put in all the stripes of color. And then now her arms. So right here where we stop, I'm going to pop out, poof out this sleeve and wobble my way across and give it a little stripe here as well so same thing over here right there and in and wobble and then her hands I'm just going to have them to the side nice and simple so imagine her shoulder her hands and we're just going to tuck them right about here so fingers and thumb and just tuck it in and add another finger right here so same thing on the other side shoulders So I just want to make sure I'm about the same area. So right here, I'm going to put a thumb and fingers. And then on this hand, she has a lot of bracelets. So I'll come in here and just pop in a curve. And I just pop in two of them for some bracelets. And I'll come in here real quick and just take away this little line right here so you can see a little bit better. And last but not least, let's add a little heart right here to make her my draw so cute fancy Nancy. So they're all done. I really hope you love how this cute little girl here turned out and uh, that I made it fun and easy for you to follow along. I know the hair is a little complicated, but I really hope that I made it a little bit easier for you to draw along with me. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.